Hello everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. 90 Day Fiancé star Jasmine Pineda and Gino Palazzolo's rumored split could be the best thing that's happened to him. Gino, 53, and Jasmine, 36, have been dating since the start of 2020 after meeting online. Jasmine hid that she met Gino on a sugar baby slash sugar daddy platform until the 90 Day Fiancé. Before the 90 Day Season 5 Tell All, Jasmine had previously taken offense that Juno had gone on dates with sugar babies and for sending her photos to an ex to make her jealous. Jasmine was expecting Juno to spend extravagantly on her because of how they met. Jasmine even blamed Juno for getting fired from her job. It gave her more reasons to get money from him even when he was unemployed himself. Juno failed to realize that his family was right and Jasmine wanted to marry him with ulterior motives. Jasmine and Gino's relationship was on the rocks in before the 90 days when Gino was visiting her amid them waiting for her K-1 visa approval. Gino's family had urged him to get Jasmine to sign a prenup. They were certain that Jasmine was a gold digger using Gino for his money and as a way for her to live the American dream. Jasmine refused to sign any prenup as it meant that Gino didn't trust her and she would be left with nothing if he decided to leave her. Jasmine, instead, asked Gino to make her a part of his non-existent will. Jasmine was getting impatient with her K-1 visa taking a long time to be approved. She made Gino get her an expensive apartment in Panama and wanted to continue living there for as long as she lived in Panama ahead of her K-1 visa approval. Gino asked Jasmine to adjust and move into a cheaper apartment. However, Jasmine wanted to keep living in the same apartment complex as her ex-boyfriend. Jasmine called Gino a cheap weirdo and started throwing away his things from their room. As Jasmine calmed down, she told Gino that she was going to leave him for her ex. Jasmine told Gino that her ex-boyfriend was the best man she ever had, and she was going back to him as he was the most important person in her life. She wanted Gino to pay $3,000 for an apartment and not cut down on costs by making her a priority in her life. Upon hearing that his family would always come first for him or that it would be a tie between her and his family at best, Jasmine told Gino, I'm gonna go, and f asterisk 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 my ex that knows how to f asterisk 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 me. Jasmine also told Gino that she had an intimate video she made with her ex and that they had sex when she was still with Gino. Jasmine later tried to make it look like she was trying to make Gino jealous. However, Jasmine admitted that such a video existed during the tell-all. Jasmine claimed the video was filmed long before she met Gino, and she hadn't cheated. Still, Jasmine had kept meeting up with Dane behind Gino's back, despite Gino not approving of their close friendship. Jasmine even went to a goodbye dinner with them and claimed she wasn't aware it was on Valentine's Day. Jasmine had also taken money from Dane to get butt implants. Jasmine told the cameras, I have lied to Gino after accepting his diamond ring in a surprise proposal. She later told him that she borrowed $2,000 from Dane, but he told her not to return it and to consider it a gift for her upcoming wedding. Gino was left feeling ashamed and offended by Jasmine's confession. He told her she killed everything after they had a great trip together in Miami where everything, for once, had gone well. Jasmine is also openly making fun of Gino on social media while refusing to post any photos of him or with him to indicate they are still together. Jasmine and Gino were riding home in his car after an unsuccessful meeting with his family. Jasmine accidentally dropped her phone while talking to Gino, and as she bent to retrieve it, Jasmine found a tube of lip gloss that didn't belong to her. Jasmine unleashed her fury on Gino and screamed, aggressively asking Gino who the lip gloss belonged to. 
Jinno also raised his voice at Jasmine and told her it could have belonged to a co-worker. I have learned in these three years to read Jinno through his body language, and he cannot hide it. I know his expressions, Jasmine told the cameras when Jinno denied having an affair with a co-worker. Jinno asked her why she was screaming at the top of her lungs like there was a murderer or something. Jasmine had told Gino, you're dead, but in the very next episode, decided she had been too hard on Gino and wanted to forgive him. YouTubers Michael and Anthony made a parody of the lip gloss scene that Jasmine shared on her Instagram page. Um, why am I like this? Jasmine wrote in her caption. Jasmine seemed to have enjoyed the way Gino was portrayed in the video. Gino came across as a pushover who didn't.